happened. This fell off earlier from right here. I glued it on, but then this just now broke in two pieces. The All right, so I painted this blue one coat already. I got orange. Mostly I have a lot of blue and I got orange of that color. So that's the first ones I'm painting. And then I'm short on black. So we'll see what the other colors are gonna be. So I got all the boxes painted. We got red, blue, orange, and black. That's Superman, Half-Life, Volt, Tech, and then the Star Wars one. But I'm building a little Hulk one. And so what I did was, I didn't want to do a boring potato handle. So what I did, I was I went like this, roughly, and then traced my hand. So I don't I don't have any uh, green paint in the can, uh, like brush on. So I was gonna spray it, but then I realized, hey, all the sides are made out of plywood that can be burned and hold the burn pretty well, so you know what? Might as well. Hopefully the camera can pick it up, but the paint transforms uh, once it's burned. It's a whole different ballgame. Let's see. mat on top of this. I cut it out already. I forgot to video it, but all I use is just a utility knife and the T-square. It's in the corner there, the one that I made the boxes with. And I just measure it and go sh 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 score it. Uh, I might show a video later, but it's not that interesting. It's not that difficult. But we'll see if we can make it work. Let's just... Let's see so I scored a couple times and then I don't want to make notches in the cuts underneath there, so that's all there is. All right, so the final day of the box building. I didn't like the red logo with the red wall and stuff. It just looked kind of funny, so I sprayed the whole box metallic black. I got a piece of white, whatever that thing is, and I'm going to cut it into a few squares so I can start making the stencils for all the other boxes. But the cool part, it's now no longer... Man, I need a haircut. This is getting out of hand. The cool part, it's not 95 degrees outside anymore. It's actually like... 65 so it cooled off quite a bit so probably the last stretch of cold weather in florida but let's get this thing going i'm sleepy today recording my setup so i got my laptop uh, i'll start with the orange box first the half-life 2 so laptop into a projector on this fancy rebounders table and i just picked up that sign i saw it somewhere it's already halfway there being shut up i don't know what i'll make out of it yet but I figure something cool with like um, some kind of art on top. Like if it would be like the Vault Boy on the surface or like the Punisher skull on, in front of that and then paint the sign black or something might be pretty cool. And then, so that's all it really is. So I'm going to trace it now. This one I'm actually going to make into some kind of an art little doodle hanging. So we're going to make that out of nice piece. But I cut up some of this quarter inch. And so for some of the stencils, I'll just use this scrap because it's not going to be like a, any kind of piece of art. It'll be sprayed better. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and make a nice one. I do have something else for the Half-Life 3 box, but you're going to have to wait and see. So in the second video, I already showed how to jigsaw. So I have made I went a little bananas with the stencils. A Star Wars action. And I'll start probably here and then... I'm not sure, actually I might start with one of these, I don't, hopefully none of this will snap, it's thin. This fell off earlier from right here, I glued it on, but then this just now broke in two pieces. The good news is that nothing's real critical, so we can kind of jam it let's see, back together and I'll glue it. And for since it's a stencil, not like an art piece, it won't matter, uh, but I'll be extra careful cutting through this here. I got the let's put it right here. I got the Jedi one just fine. This was my second cut, but the first one was the Mandalorian, and this ripped here first, and then the whole chunk just flew off. So this particle board or whatever it is, it's just it's not the same as a quarter inch plywood. It's pretty much junk. So I'm gonna just respray it, um, not respray it. Get my projector out and make a new one because I definitely want the Mandalorian. I was also careful and this came out pretty okay. Uh, that's the Gordon Freeman. 
So, and I mean, this one will be fine, that's thick plywood. But this junk, I'm not surprised that it snapped at the gauge hit there, but I've never had something snap like so dramatically, to be that honest with you. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting it and glue it back together. finished all the stencils so this one I thought was gonna be the easiest and I actually did make the quarter inch one and it proceeded to it proceeded to snap like way over here and then that didn't really work and then this thing snapped too at the base at the head so ended up doing I don't know where the original one is but basically end up doing this one third time was the charm so I got that done everything else came out pretty clean I'm actually pretty happy with the Voltec uh, this one's all glued here here there both spots there so but let's spray paint it there you go so for the Hulk, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray red first for the background, for the shadow. Like the shiny black probably would be better, but I don't wanna go to Home Depot and all I have is flat. So we just skew this over a little bit. And, uh, now we're gonna do the Hulk fist. Which I just realized, this side should be black. And then I spray the green, so I'm gonna spray this side black now. Let's go ahead and do Mr. Freeman over here. Oh. Alright, so I'm not sure. We're all built now. So I sprayed the gym logo, CF Evo for Cross Evolution, kind of a little more subtle, so this way it doesn't, it's not as bright. Half-Life 3 in metallic black, outside the orange. I tried the vault tech also in yellow shadow and black over it, but it doesn't look quite as good. It looks pretty decent inside, so I'll video there. And then the other side of this box, we got the Jedi logo, and the other side of the Hulk. I don't know if I can see him, I've turned around. And it has the proper red shadow and it's in black. I guess technically it should be in green with red, but I think you'll forgive me. And then obviously the vault tech, just to match the vault boy. Those are for me. The other ones are all going to the gym. So I really, really like that one with the Gordon Freeman and his, whatever that thing's called, I forget, but super sick. I'll do a little walk around inside too, so I still got to finish my corner for the mats, but look at those. That's so cool. Love it. I blend it in a little bit there. There we go. Nice. And then let's pull it apart a little bit. I got this thing to match as well on the sides. I guess I could have just shut down this side. And we got the Rebel logos on both sides. And same thing here. I sprayed black, but it was too bright. So I kind of sprayed slightly red over it. So now it's a little more subtle, so it's better. The Mandalorian logo that gave me so many problems and oh, let's turn the Hulk around because so cool. So cool. And then the same thing here. Let's do this. Right. Well we're not gonna stack it like that because that's blue on blue and that's just not right. So we're gonna flip it around, but man. Totally unnecessary, well, totally over the top, but unnecessary, that's for you to decide. But great success, thanks guys for watching. Come on, get up here. All right, there you go, come on over here. Suck, over here. No? All right, All right stay right there. Good boy. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on.
There you go. Let's go in the pool, boy. Yeah. Good boy. Give. Sit. He deserved it. Had a hard, long day today. I mean, he only had only a few hours of nap, so. Come on, come on. All right. All right, and on that note, that I'll finish up now, so. Oh, actually, let's do this while we're already here. Let's look back at something. Hey, boy. That's the genesis right here. This is where it all started. That's where all my doodles began. And... All right, boy, come on. What a pretty day outside today, huh? Hard to say that the end of the world is near or something like that. All right, buddy? All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.